So we're just now coming to the end of Mo Arc Road at the southernmost side of Missouri. You can see a big red gate there. Uh, that's the, the neighbor's driveway. And we're gonna cut left. So Mo Arc Road just ended. And we're gonna cut left onto the uh, gravel road to the property. And this is where you may encounter a gate or a cable. Um, we'd be happy to give you the combo for that. There we go. So we'll pull on through here in a second. But also I wanted to mention, um, if you want to drive to State Line Cove, pull through that first gate, and then instead of continuing south, if you go off to the field, go off to the east, and um, there's kind of a trail that kind of runs along the uh, the tree line at the field, and that will take you all the way down to State Line Cove. You can take a truck or an SUV right down to the water, um, and actually, I guess you could put your, uh, your boat or jet ski in right there. Um, so we do own this property and, and you've got our permission to use that. I mean, it's not an easement or anything, but as long as we own this this chunk right here, you're welcome to, to do that uh, if you want some easier access to State Line Cove, if you don't want to um, necessarily put a trail in um, going east on your property, then this gives you a really good option to still get to the water. And you'll see that big tower there. This used to be a buffalo ranch, and that I guess was a viewing station. Um, so everybody could look at the buffalo. All right, so we're gonna head on down there. We're crossing through the, the pipe fence, so we're actually crossing into Arkansas right now, northern Arkansas, which is extremely similar to southern Missouri. It's still the Ozarks. Off to the right, this will be the closest neighbor. Um, really nice guy uh, and his wife, retired. So that's closest uh, um, neighbor if you if you need something. Beautiful lake view off to the west from there. You can see that. And then uh, we're actually getting close to the property already, so it's not far at all off that paved road, off Moark Road. On the right, you can see that white um, picket. That indicates the Corps of Engineer line, so that that's more or less directly across the road. Okay, but we'll be coming up on the property on the left. And it's pretty hard to miss because you've got that big metal building <laughs> right there. Okay, I've got my little map right map open so I can tell the boundaries. Um, but basically this small field that's around the building um, is gonna be on the west side of the property. Okay, so from where we are right now, uh, we basically gotten to the property on the left. So you've got that building. Large oak tree. I'm not 100% sure if that's on the property or not. I feel like it might be, but don't quote me on that. The guys haven't been out here to ribbon this yet. So let's take a quick look at this building. We're actually using it right now, and uh, we'd like to use it for the next couple months if, if possible, but if you just really need it, that's fine as well. We can get the stuff out of there. It's an older building, but I mean, it's solid. So it's a great place to get your equipment out of the rain. I have no idea what size it is. Looks like maybe 30 by 40. I'm really not sure. That could be 20 by 30. Okay, so here we've got the field area. Down there is the, the actual Tract 4 sign. But I think what I'm going to do is... Uh, Instead of parking here and walking, we're going to veer left on the road. So the, the road comes to a Y, and we're going to veer to the left, and the property's on the left. Oh, I should mention also, we've got a pile of gravel right there. Um, hopefully that won't bother anybody. That That's what we're going to use for uh, uh, future rough spots in the road and whatnot. So um, if any of that stuff bothers you, um, let us know, but otherwise, um, otherwise, there you go. <laughs> Any questions, let us know. And if you need the building, we can move the stuff. It's not a big deal. 
So as we head to the uh, east now, the property's still on the left. This has a ton of road frontage along the south side and along the west side. And it seems to me there was a trail here somewhere. Oh, there we go. So there's actually a little trail right there that leads into the property. I have no idea where that goes. Massive amount of road frontage. Other than that meadow area, this property is basically entirely wooded. This is a beautiful spot here. Level, wooded. You could punch a trail back in there and, and create a really nice building site or campsite back in there. But your best option is probably to explore that trail we just saw. That might uh, might be a potential private driveway. There's some big timber here, big oaks, some sycamore trees. Very cool. And as we get toward this side, oh, there's another beautiful area. As we get toward this side, now the uh, the boundary line angles off back toward State Line Cove. So as we get to, yep, right about in here. So power and phone are very close. You've got that open meadow, you've got that building. The building um, can't be used as a residence, uh, but it's great for storage. It's within the road easement, so uh, even if you were to do a concrete floor, it couldn't be used as a, re as a residence, but it is grandfathered in as a storage building, which is what its, its use is, so you can still use it for that. There is a lot of big timber on this property. That's a nice oak, quite a few nice oaks. Feel free to come on out here and you can, you can walk the whole property, spend the day, you can spend the weekend if you want, and really check everything over. Um, check the listing for all kinds of videos. That's a beautiful oak. Long, straight oak. We've got a really interesting mixture of trees here. We've got sycamore, uh, red oak, and gigantic cedar trees all in this area. That is really interesting. So the timber cannot be cut until the property's been paid for in full, although we do uh, routinely make written exceptions for uh, driveways or building sites or whatnot. And after you've paid for the property in full, you're welcome to log it. There is timber value here. And it's literally growing every day. That was my little pun. Oh, there's a big nest up there. We've seen eagles out here. Beautiful, beautiful property. Um, direct frontage on the core land. I mean, I could just go on and on. I love it out here. This is one of the larger tracts, um, one of the only tracts with any kind of structure on it, uh, which would have been used as part of the original bison ranch. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> Come check it out. If you have any questions, let us know. Instantacres.com is our website. So if this property is available, we'll have it on the website. I've never been on this section of the property. It is really a cool mixture of timber. And there's that sycamore tree. Oh, I hear a deer. Where is he? 
just heard a deer. I bet he's just standing and watching me. The wildlife out here is phenomenal. We're on the north side of a, a, a private peninsula, so it's surrounded on three sides by water. So the deer and the turkey come out here and they just basically stay on this peninsula. Oh, this is gorgeous. I thought that was a deer, that's an armadillo. <laughs> <laughs> That's what kind of woodsman I am. There, I can see him running off down the hill. Just a little armadillo. Hey, buddy. That's my third one this year. They are so cool. Okay, back to the property. I've just been rambling for a while. Look at all this timber. This is phenomenal. Now, that's mostly oak, although there are some cedars in there as well. Oh, that's what I was going to say. The sycamore tree indicates a really good water table. Generally, when you see sycamore trees, you do not have to go that deep for water. So that's great. Anyway, I'll leave something for everybody else to explore. <laughs> We've gone 10 minutes here. So come check it out, instantacres.com. If this one's sold already, um, we probably don't have anything similar because similar, this is pretty darn unique. But we can find you something really cool in the Ozarks. Um, we'd love to, love to share the Ozarks with you. It's phenomenal. InstantAcres.com